back for another first time album listen and reaction today we have bad boy barty hello world 2024 okay fun fact um i'm excited today because this is a good friend of mine um and been anxiously biting my fingertips to listen from a piece of his pie because uh, he's been crafting for a while you know doing his own production and stuff so yeah long awaited um i think this is his first release officially of anything um but um Yeah, I can I can follow up with more details later. Um, but uh, I believe we have four tracks on this project here, and uh, wanted to make sure you guys see the cover art because I know he worked on it pretty hard with some people. It looks sick. Uh, super seventies vibe I'm getting, but kind of like uh, metal as well fuck with it but um yeah let's uh i guess we'll just get into the first track i believe this is the first track this is what um the website he sent me comes up with first with the track is uh first track called basement but there should be four tracks total uh i have no clue how long they're gonna be um i have no expectations and i'm gonna be com uh brutally honest even though he's my friend, you know. So, just disclaimer. Uh, all right. Hopefully, volume's good. But here we go. First track, Basement. I don't know if it's just like a quick intro or not. Um, maybe, or it just bugged out. I'm gonna have to restart it. Hold on. Wondering if I will make it. Speaking in the air. Switching on you 
right into the next one. Okay. So yeah, that was uh intro track. Very interesting. Uh kind of an eerie start. You know, had you kind of uh suspicious in the beginning. It was it was a nice little build up it had going there. Um it, it felt like uh there was certain like fading points. Um I think I'm trying to like rec- like figure out what I was uh feeling initially. It felt like it was like it was like turning into a uh, like a movie. It felt like a movie trailer or something like 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 action packed shit was going on, which I liked. I felt like that it was very um you know building up the climax kind of thing, and then. I think it, when it transitioned, probably like that twenty second point when it transitioned to the actual uh, meat of the song, um, really nice um, blend of instruments came in. Um, the drums started to kick up. Oh, that's what I meant to mention in the, in the beginning. Yeah, it was the build up was like that off um, off beat kind of like drum pattern that kind of had me intrigued in the beginning. You know, I was like, "Whoa, it's weird." Um, and then it kind of just like smacked you with the the meat of the song, which I'm getting back into is is the part where drums get on on beat, kind of like a, on a traditional tempo, kick up, and that's when it turns. In, it feels like it turns into like an action, like a some like a, like an anime intro or something like that. You know how the songs will usually kick up like crazy in the intro, and so felt a very um, yeah rising rising kind of to the climax kind of feeling where the drums kick up and his his voice is it's a little bit muffled but you can tell it's trying to like break out and and i like that uh emphasis puts in the track because it's very it's very telling of like this like built up uh tension that he has in his uh his uh purpose of the song and and that that really hits um nicely as as far as a whole collective of, of the instruments working with his voice, very, um, very tense. So that was cool. Um, I didn't catch too much lyrics, I think, because um, I mainly wanted to hear the instruments and in the in the, the production value. Um, with with most tracks, when I'm first listening, it's like I don't know what to expect with um the instruments, so I have to focus on them. But the lyrics, yeah, they, they just got a little bit drowned out by the the many sounds and many instruments that were, you know, pretty well mixed. But I think, uh, yeah, I just, that's how my tendency is. Like, if the instruments actually take me away to a good place, I, I end up not focusing on the lyrics so much. But uh, I did catch a couple of things, like he said, he was talking about taking the blue pill into the matrix and then try to, it sounds like he was trying to break out of that. Um, after he's been in the matrix. So it's like, it felt like a, you know, attention was building, trying to break out of something. So nice intro. Um, all right, we're going next track. Um, memories. Let me restart it.
Okay. Different vibe from the first track for sure. Um, felt a little bit more smooth. First impression. Um, let's break it down. So, very good production from the mixing of the drums kind of soft drums very good effects he put on the um the kind of overall tone of the of the the drums a little muffled wasn't too sharp and it fit with his voice once again so he's got a very good um instrumental and and voice balance as far as tone and i, I like that um that's, that's something like as an artist i will immediately latch on to your music if you have really good balance in your uh, the theme of your song between instruments and vocals, um, and so the the drums were heavy in the song. I liked it, just punchy, um, really nice kind of uh, drum fills without the song. It wasn't very stagnant. It was it was mixing it up with the percussion, um, so that was awesome. And um, the actual. Um, sound of the track overall, it made me feel a little bit like I was, uh, I was in like a Kid Cudi song with a little bit of auto tune and a little bit of the, uh, the kind of drawn out like vocals, the, uh, kind of like the humming things that Cudi does. That's, that's like one of the reasons I was really, I really like Cudi. So that's why I really rocked with this track. Um, I got lost a little bit in it. Uh, it's very hypnotic kind of sounding. Um, like Cuddy, so that's cool. Not to compare too much to other people, but it's you know you have to make those comparisons to um, make a connection. So yeah, I'm thinking the other parts of the song. Very smooth. Um, I don't know if it was piano or, or a synth or guitar. Whatever was in the background, it felt like a, a smooth R&B kind of um, chord progression going on there. Uh, that felt very uh, welcomed in the track. It, you know, it was nothing too sharp going on. It was very smooth the whole time. Um, so, yeah, it felt like a little R&B track too. So, definitely, definitely got across with that vibe, if that's what he was going for. Uh, it's all smooth. Um, the vocals, this is the last thing I thought about, the vocals um, it had good, like, um, pattern of um, uh, tonation and kind of choosing his melody of notes along with the instruments. It was pretty good. Uh, sometimes there was, it was a little bit of like, uh, I don't know. It sounded a little dead at sometimes with the vocals, but I, maybe that was just filler. I don't know. But um, most of the vocals sounded good in that track. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, yeah. All right, next track. We got... Neighborhood menaces. Oh Lord. Welcome to me, Casa. Yeah, I do that shit a lot, but uh, drew chicken the pool. Don't know how she really got it. We gon' shake the floor. Shit. We gon' make some noise.
Yo. <laughs> okay. That outro was crazy. Okay. Surprised me with that one. Uh, that one just, like, turned up the notch about, like, ten knocks. Um... Yeah. Definitely gave me a more um, aggressive vibe, like the first track, but just through the roof kind of thing. Um, I sound like somebody else was on the track vocally. I don't know who, but um, you can figure that out later. But uh, yeah, super edgy. Oh, the. Uh, uh, That was ballsy. I rock with that background. Just gave the whole vibe of like this like it gave me a villainous vibe straight up. Like they were like they were up to no good, like just doing some wild stuff. Uh just being reckless and and, and careless and free. Uh that's what it sounded like. Um just the whole vibe, you know. Um Yeah. I, I couldn't catch much lyrics uh, because was, there was a lot of droning noises, you know, filling up the track. Um, I was focused on those. I mean, it was banging, especially in that outro that was slick. Like, it had me um, caught off guard, I was saying earlier, because it, it's, it's kind of one of those things where you're caught in the hook, you know, over and over. The mm, mm, but I love an outro like that, that um, it has a resolve to it, you know, that you weren't, you didn't need, but it helped kind of thing. Um, brought the track to a, like a really nice, intriguing close. And I was like, okay, I see the production um, kind of, what's the word? adventurousness that's a, that's a big word but like very adventurous in in an aspect of not just sticking with the the same um progression the entire song and then ending like you're you're trying to give a little a little flavor um to your song at the end and that's what i felt like it was a nice little touch and, and drum fill and stuff so really impressive um I think this is the last track. Jersey scene. Let's run it. Oh. I think it bugged out again. Hold up. Man, you gotta fix this site, man. <laughs> Maybe it's me. I don't know. Some buffer or uh, latency. I don't know. Run right back.
chill, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna Okay, that was a funny track. I don't know if you took inspiration um, from what I'm about to say, but I think I've seen some like recent uh, social media posts of like this this trend going around with like um, like that kind of that kind of style of beat. Um, it's like kind of drill a little bit, but. Like this, uh, some kid from Jersey, I think that uh, makes these dance moves to those types of beats. It's so funny. Oh my god! But um, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Felt like a, felt like a just like a like a fun track to. I feel like he was just um, you know, having fun with the track, just putting in samples. That sample was crazy. Um, with the girl singer, I don't know what that sample is from. I gotta, I gotta ask him. But uh, it was clean. Had that little disco vibe, and then it just dropped into this heavy, um, um, kick drum. Whatever that beat's called, I don't know if it's drill. Maybe it is, but like a slower version. Um. Yeah, I, I really liked all the the additions of the uh, these um, samples again from these other sounds and um, sirens and all these things. Like it really gives you this kind of uh, dance, like club track kind of vibe. Like you, you want to move. It's that kind of the vibe. So yeah, it's a fun track. Um. Also, the bass, it sounded like you're you're inside of it. Like, when you go to a bathroom in a club and you hear the bass on the outside of the bathroom, that's what it, the bass sounded like. You were, like, just packed into a club and you can, like, barely hear uh, the bass because there's so many people and, and you're, like, far from the DJ speakers or something. Um, but that was cool. It, was like a, it gave you a... It gave you a vision, at least, of the the atmosphere. I felt like a, either a disco's disco seventies club or a modern, uh, yeah, two thousands two two thousand tens pop club or something. Uh, yeah. But overall, um, project review. I think this was very experimental, which I really appreciate. Um, every track was different, uh, which there's nothing wrong with every track being the same theme, but this one had me on the edge of my seat the whole time, which I which I like um, occasionally, you know, from the other style of albums where they keep the same theme. So good to mix it up every now and then. Um, very good mixing and production value. Um, I could tell he took his time with these tracks and he actually cared about the, um, the sequencing of, of instruments and, um, the complexity of the instruments, uh, especially percussion, very nice variations of drum fills and, um, patterns. 
uh, that usually hooks me in a song when I hear the variations there. Um, I guess he's going for more of an electronic vibe here. I got a lot of electronic um, themes. So, I mean, yeah, you could he could stick with that all day and do well because um, he, he's doing very good sampling here. Um, yeah, I, I, that's the majority of what I wanted to point out. Um, since it's the first project, I can't compare it to anything else he's done, uh, officially. So, yeah, I, 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 there's a lot of potential here for, um, a lot of, different venues of, of uh, genres and, and fusions of things. Um, a lot of um, what is it? A lot of jazz influence, a lot of um, R&B influence. So the world is open um, for this guy. So yeah, I'd recommend to others if you want to if you want a wild listen. This was this was fun. It was a fun project. Uh, didn't really bore me at all. So, um, I'm trying to think if I had anything else to wrap up. I'd like to hear a little bit more guitar. Um, cause I noticed he had a little bit of those jazz chords up in there, or if it was piano. One of those, I would like to hear those more because um, I, I think there's a lot of range potentially there. Um, more so than the samples. The samples you can do a lot with, but the personal touch of the instrument, you know, I'd like to see more of that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. All right, peace.